these problems. After this, I tell you a problem related to functional equation, okay? And also in SMO AMC, we had last SMC, AMC. So try this problem first on your own. Do I consider um, x, y, and z are roots to one equation? Uh, can you say it again? Can I, for this question, can I consider x, y, and z are roots to an equation? Um, you can consider these x, y, z are roots of these equations, but... Uh, you can consider if you want, but you should do something that are more important, okay? Uh, let me check. X, X, Y, Z are roots of this equation. What do you mean by roots of this equation? Like are roots to something. E, X, minus. X minus C something. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, understood, understood. You want to create a, cu uh, a cubic equation that the roots are X, Y, Z, right? Yeah. Mm, maybe with that way you can solve. But uh, my solution is not this. And pay attention, X, Y, Z are special numbers, positive integers, right? So when you have positive yeah. integers, for example, let me tell you. When A and B are positive integers and AB is equal to 20, do you agree you can find A and B? Because you can say, no, nice guess and check. All cases, 120, negative 1, negative 20, right? But it is for the case that A and B are integers. But if A and B are real numbers, do you agree it doesn't work because we have infinitely many answers? Yeah. So when there are integers, you can use factorizing that right hand side is not necessarily zero, right? And you can find all cases. Here we should use this approach. You should factorize and right side another an, a number. Okay. 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 Try. But teacher, there is a plus. How can I can I factorize it? Hmm. What do you mean there is a... Ah, oh, so take this to left hand side, okay? And then factorize. Understood? Okay. okay. DJ, I seriously don't know how to factorize. Okay, let me tell you something. Let's uh, take this to left hand side and multiply, okay? So, if you multiply x to this x squared y, right? Plus x y squared. And we have x y z. Uh, if you multiply like this, y x y z and z x y z. 3 x y z minus this 2 x y z, right? So we can write x y is x squared y, x y squared, x squared z, x z squared, and y squared z, and y z squared plus 2 x y z, right? Yeah. Then it is product of this one to this one, x plus y plus z. Three terms. Three terms, nine terms. Here we had three, we've subtracted. Three plus six, nine. But we have also one to these terms. One multiply, it will be x, y plus y, z plus z, x plus x plus y plus z plus one squared. Agreed? Yeah. Is equal to 20, 23. This part is famous. You can factorize this. Only this part. So try to factorize this part. Okay. Is it x plus y times y plus z times z plus x? Can I say it again? Uh huh. Is it exactly times y plus z times z plus x? Right. Yeah. Plus these parts, right? Yeah. Now, use changing variable, okay? How? Consider this one is A, this one is B, this one is C, okay? And then try to write it in terms of A, B, C, okay? Try to write left hand side in terms of A, B, C, okay? Okay. 
teacher, I got A, B, C plus A plus C minus B over 2 times A plus B minus C over 2 times B so, plus C minus A over 2. So if you simplify it, it will be what? Simplify that. I, I don't know whether I can simplify. So let me write again. You said A, B, C plus what? A plus C minus B over 2. Times A plus B minus C over 2. Ah, you replace X, Y, Z with these things. X, for example, yeah. is... Huh, yes, you can use that, but you should simplify. We have lots of terms, right? So let me tell you how yeah. to solve it easily. So, because we want to have this, and here we have x squared. So, if we calculate this one, let's write it. It is abc plus x squared plus y squared plus z squared, right? Yeah. Plus 3xy plus 3xz plus 3yz. Because here we have 1xy, here we have 2xy, right? Yeah. Plus 1 plus 2x plus 2y plus 2z, right? Is equal to 2023. Now, for example, you can create x squared, y squared with these a, b, c. Want me to tell you how to write it in terms of a, b, c, or want to? Uh, Tisha, how was the expansion? The expansion. X this squared one. Plus y squared plus z. Squared. Yeah. Well, what about the plus one? Plus one. Plus one. Okay. Sorry. Look, this is squared. This is squared. This is squared. This is squared. Two times this times this 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 this. Right? Okay. Okay, one okay. Uh, hint for how to write it in terms of ABC or want to find it on your own? I want to check. Okay. Teacher, do I have to square like uh, ABC plus X plus 1 square squared plus Y plus 1 squared? Yes, you should consider a square of ABC. Then you said it is what? No, like ABC plus like the term plus X plus one squared plus Y plus one squared plus Z plus one squared. Like yeah, let's let's consider. For example, A squared is what? A squared is uh, X plus Y squared. Plus Y squared plus two X Y, right? Yeah. B squared is what? Y squared plus Z squared plus two Y Z, right? Yeah. C squared is what? Z squared plus X squared plus 2ZX, right? Yeah. So if we want to create these things, oh, we, okay. here we have this. Maybe it works, maybe not. Let's consider also AB. AB is what? Uh, XY plus YZ. Oh, sorry, xy plus y squared plus y. Yes, you can say it is this, right? Yeah. AB. Y squared plus these terms, right? AC is yeah. what is squared plus these terms? AC is x squared plus. Yes, BC is what? <clears throat> Z squared plus XY plus YZ plus X. Exactly. Z squared. Now, if we add all these things, we can conclude okay, this part is what then by considering these things? AB plus AC plus BC. C squared. Not C squared, AB, AC, BC. This part is yeah, what in terms of ABC? A plus B plus C. Yes. So we have what? We have ABC plus AB plus AC plus BC plus A plus B plus C plus 1 is equal to 2023, right? Yeah. Now, one hint or one uh, want, want to try on your own? Is it A plus B times B plus C? C plus A. This? Yeah. No. Because look, we have A squared C, but here we don't have A squared C. Oh, sorry. 
Exactly. A plus 1 times B plus 1 times C plus 1. Okay? Is equal to 20. Yes, it's 7 times 7 squared, right? 17 squared. And the problem once what? Well, the problem says x, y, z are integers, positive integers. Such that this. Let me copy the problem here. And we've considered a is equal to x plus y, right? x plus y. b is y plus z. c is z plus x. And we have this equation, so solve the problem, okay? Okay. Is it 87? The answer is what you said? 87. Why? A, A equal to 6, A equal to 16. Yes, because, because we have uh, these things and they should be at least two, right? Each of them. Yeah. And because uh, the thing we want to calculate is not uh, is symmetric with respect to x, y, z, so without loss of generality, we can consider this one is 7, 17, 17, right? Yeah. So we can consider a is 6, b is 16, c is 16, right? From yeah. these two parts, we can consider x is equal to y, and from this part, we can say it is equal to 3, so z is 13, right? So x, y is 9, y, z is 39, 39, right? Yeah. 39 plus 39, 60, 78. Plus 9, 87, right? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you one more problem.